Hey, 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 I'm Christopher J. M. U. A. and welcome back to my channel. Unless, of course, you've never been here, then welcome. I'm glad you stopped by. I'm glad you decided to take a look at this little family and see if you want to be a part of it. If you do, in fact, want to be a part of it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below and hit the notification bell so that you can be alerted every time I upload a new video. That being said, we get to play with Fenty Beauty today by Rihanna, of course. Here's the real gag. I've never gotten to play with Fenty Beauty before. I've never tried anything from Rihanna, except her music, which I love. So this is a new experience for me. This was actually a Sephora haul, because seeing as how I work at Ulta, of course I shop at Ulta normally, and uh, I felt kind of like traitor-ish while I was shopping at Sephora, like I was doing something wrong. I only stuck with products that I couldn't get at Ulta while I was shopping so that I could, you know, just justify why I was in Sephora. That being said, I only got Fenty Beauty products. So instead of doing a full face of like Sephora haul, I figured why not do full face of Fenty? So that's what we're gonna do today. I'm going to introduce you guys to the Fenty products that I got and let you know what I paid for them and we will test this brand out and see what it and she's all about. So if you want to see what Fenty Beauty products I got from Sephora and see how they work on my face and this skin, we keep watching. First thing we have is the Pro Filter Mini Instant Retouch Primer. And they all say Fenty Beauty by Rihanna on them. It's in a little bottle like that, but why don't we open it so we can see. I got this in the shade Soft Matte. If I remember correctly, I think this was the only shade there was. I think, maybe not, I don't remember for sure. And the retail value of this little thing right here was $16. I've gotta say this packaging is absolutely stunning. This is so classy looking and pretty and it has Fenty Beauty on it and then it says what it is on the back. That's just gorgeous. Oh, the packaging matches my nails too. That's funny. That's kind of the same pink I put on my nails. Maybe a little lighter. Okay, does this say shake well or anything? No. It just says it expires after 12 months and you get 0.5 ounces of product. So half as much as a foundation. It looks lotion consistency. Ooh, that smells really good. It smells like something I own. I don't know what yet though. What does that smell like? I know I have whatever this is. Oh, I don't know, but I know. You know what I'm talking about? Where you have those moments where like you smell something and you know that you know what it is because it's something that you smell all the time, but you just don't know what it is because you can't remember. I know, I know. I think maybe it almost smells like some liquid lipsticks I have. Like that cake smell maybe, like vanilla-y, creamy, I don't know. This is very sticky, very thick also. It feels tacky for sure. And I apologize if around my eyes it still looks kind of dark. They are still hurt from me scratching all of the eyeshadow off of them the other day. They're healing though, they're getting there. You can just still see some like dark redness up here. It's healing. My skin just looks hydrated really. I don't really know that it like blurred anything. Let me try a little bit more. Okay. That's like, that's about how much I used the first time. So I'm gonna try that much one more time. Just in my T-zone area where I have the most giant pores and see if maybe I can fill them in with this stuff. When I put this primer on like a lotion. I didn't really notice much of a difference except my skin looked a little more hydrated like it looked kind of wet dewy ish. Once I focused the concentration of it into just my pores and I pushed it in instead of like rubbing it on like lotion then it actually filled my pores. So now I have a pretty smooth canvas to work on. It was a little blurring. It definitely filled in my nose pores that I always have to worry about. That was awesome. I like that. I love having a not porous face for a change. The next product we have is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation. This one is $34 and I got the shade 150. When I was shade matching myself in Sephora, the cash 
cashier or whatever they're called that was working there actually suggested that I get up to two shades lighter than what my actual shade is because it will oxidize two shades darker. And I didn't really listen to her, honestly. Not that I doubt her ability or her surety in the advice she was giving me. I just, I don't know, when I shade match, if the shade is a perfect match, I just, I gotta get it, you know? I don't wanna go to a different shade. I'm picky. So I did pick the shade that closely matched my skin. In other words, don't be surprised if this ends up oxidizing two shades darker, simply put. Oh, it says shake well right inside whenever you open it up. Good to know. We will definitely be doing that. Oh, that's so satisfying to actually hear the foundation shaking on the inside. Typically, whenever you get a foundation and it's full, you can't hear it shaking. So you have like no idea if you're actually shaking it or not. I'm just gonna use my good old Morphe sponge here. So I'm just gonna pump the foundation right onto the sponge. That was probably too much. That was like four pumps. Why did I start with four pumps? Is that my shade? Oh my gosh, I think that's my shade. It matches my neck. <gasps> That's gonna be so exciting if I end up being like exactly right on my shade. I'm getting like medium coverage vibes. I feel like I could get it to full. I don't know, it's eliminating any redness I've got, which there's a lot, especially under all these lights. I feel like I need more though. I am enjoying how it looks on my skin. It's not looking cakey or anything. It's not sticking to any dry patches or anything like that so far. It's blending out well. I definitely need more though I am not covered enough I feel like I always look so weird at this point where I put foundation on and I have my under eyes still really really dark they're already dark to begin with like darker than my actual complexion but to have it look like this I look like a vampire or something we're gonna move on to concealer because I need to hide this so that means we're gonna use the pro filter instant filter <laughs> No, we're gonna use the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Concealer. This one cost me $26. This is also in the shade 150. And from the reviews that I've seen, Rihanna has purposely made her concealers the same number as the foundation that it goes with so that it's a little bit brightening rather than just the same shade. I really like that because it kind of does the hard work for you. All you really have to do is shade match your foundation and then boom, there's your concealer. Versus you have having to actually search for and find your right shade in your foundation and search for and find your right shade in your concealer. Ooh, wow, that's not a doe foot. Well, I guess it is a doe foot, but it's a flat doe foot. No, that wouldn't be a doe foot. It's a flat applicator. That reminds me of the ColourPop applicator. Oh yeah, that's gonna be brightening for sure. That's already very brightening. Now you can call me bright eye and bushy tailed. Okay, now let's blend that in and see what happens. That is quite a beautiful finish. I really, really, really like that. I don't see any creasing, which it's not set yet. So the more I leave it like that and it continues to sit there, it's gonna crease. So I am noticing right under my eyes, like immediately under my eyes where the concealer was just applied that I'm getting very, very, very creasy very quickly. And I think that has to do with the fact that the concealer isn't set yet. And I think it really needs to be like super quickly before it starts drying down. I still have some cream products that I need to use, but I'm going to put the concealer on again after I finish the cream product so that it will be like a fresh application so that I can set it immediately after that. But moving on, these are matchsticks. These are $25 each. They had a promotion or a deal or maybe it was like permanent pricing but if you got three of these, it was $54 for three instead of the $25 each. So obviously went ahead and got three. They're essentially cream contour sticks, but it's not only contour, it's contour and highlight and highlight, like highlighter highlight. So there's a deeper shade, uh, a lighter, and a shimmery shade. And I think these things are like the cutest things ever. I wish every brand had something like this. Like this reminds me of something that ColourPop would do, but it would have very different packaging, obviously. It's these little sticks like this, little hexagonal sticks. This one is in bamboo, so it's like a, like a highlighting shade. I feel like for me, this is more of a, like a foundation shade. I got it for a highlighting shade, but obviously I didn't go light enough. Don't know what I was thinking there. Maybe it can be like a bronzer or something. I don't know. Then I also got the shade Truffle and this one I got for contour so that I could cream contour because for some reason I have literally like fallen in love with cream contour. Like 
I could marry cream contour. Sorry, Mark, I love you. But really, I have like normal slash dry skin. Using all cream products on my face makes my skin look so much better than using a bunch of powder products. I still like using powder products, but it's not nearly as awesome as cream products. I digress. This is the shade Truffle in the matchstick. This is definitely a contour shade for me. And then the last shade is called Starstruck. This is a highlighter shade. They have a lot of really good highlighter shades. I think that these matchsticks, based on the concept alone, because I don't know what the quality is like yet, I think it would be a great idea to have a full collection of these because with them being cream based, you can work them as like anything. And this one is Starstruck. Really pretty champagne-y rose gold kind of color. That's really gorgeous. I think I'm gonna use that as as like an under highlight highlight, if you get what I mean. Since it's cream, I don't know that it will be powerful enough to be my actual highlighter, but I could use it as a base for a powder highlight. Here I am talking about not wanting to dry out my skin with powder highlights, but I'm gonna go over with it anyway. And then the coolest thing about these matchsticks is they're magnetic. <laughs> So you could literally build up like a stack of these and they would all stick together. How cool is that? And they have the shades on the bottom. So you could just like have them chilling. That is so cool. Ugh. It's like a toy. I love it. Okay, yeah, but that's what those are. And I'm gonna go ahead and open the powder so that I can have it ready. So by the time I finish all of the cream work, I can go ahead and jump into powdering. This is the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. And I got mine in the shade butter and this powder was $32. Ooh, that container is so beautiful. That is gorgeous. I really like that. Oh, and I get a a thing that says, oh, it says FB, Fenty Beauty. Ha uh ha. -huh. Um, um, what is this called? Oh my gosh. Um, a, not a siphon, a sifter, a sifter. <laughs> yes, I have a sifter, but why does it not have a sifter in it? Yeah, it, it has its own sifter already. Why do I have another sifter? I don't, maybe if I lose this one, like if you take it out and only use it without one of those on it, that would make sense, I guess. I don't really know what to do with that though. That's cool though, that she thought about that. I just don't know what to use it for. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my powder ready in the cap. Oh yeah, we are full. Oh my gosh, that fills up really well. Mm-hmm, I like that. Now we are gonna go in with the shade Truffle and go ahead and start contouring. And remember, I'm gonna go back in with the Pro Filter Concealer after I finish all the rest of the cream products. Okay, I know this sounds kind of weird, but I feel like this isn't blending as well as I would expect it to be. I don't know, I might be crazy. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of Smashbox Primer Water on my face, just so I can kind of wet things again. I don't know, I could be just completely crazy. It just seems like, I don't know, like it's just not blending away as easily as I thought it would. Could just be me. That's very, very possible. It could just be the fact that my foundation has almost dried completely since I started because I talked too much. Okay, after I re-wet that, much, much better and much easier to blend. So I guess lesson to that is don't talk too much while you're applying your makeup because it will dry. I'm digging this contour a lot, like a lot, a lot. Ooh, but not up there. There is some weird texture happening up there and I do not like that. Oh, what is that? Ugh, guys, I think it's separating on my dry skin. Oh, but here and here and here is so good. And on my nose, but under my eyes is dreadful. Right here is not so great. And up here, just something weird's happening. Very quickly, the Starstruck matchstick I'm gonna put that in my highlighter spots. I feel like that highlighter would look really good on no makeup days. And with cream highlighters, I suggest either blending them out with your finger or a clean sponge because most of the time you don't wanna cover up the highlighter and you will if you blend it in too much, which might be what I'm about to do anyway. Okay, now back with the Pro Filter Concealer and gonna go back in underneath my eyes. Blend that out. Okay, now before my eyes have a chance to crease, I'm gonna go right into the powder directly, get a nice coat on it. 
and set under my eyes. Oh, I think that side started creasing already. That powder smells good. Okay, that creasing is much less dramatic now that I have powder down on top of it. It's not really creasing all that bad though. Now that I went in there with the fresh concealer and didn't let it like sit there and dry and then try to set it, it actually looks pretty good now. Now that I am covered in powder and that I have a powdered beard, I'm going to bake at 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Now that that's done, we get to move into eyes. And I'm going to continue baking as we do the eyes just so I can let all that set. Now I'm kind of worried about that concealer and I'm afraid if I don't let it bake, I might end up with like lots of creases. So I just want it to really you know so what I'm gonna use for eyes let me let me explain this real quick so you know Rihanna has the Moroccan palette you have to think that at this point while I was shopping my shopping cart was adding up quite a bit so I was trying to save where I could so that eyeshadow palette had a lot of shades that I think maybe I don't need right now I probably do at some point and will get it at some point but right now I don't because I got this Frost Bunny Metallic Eye and Lip Set. Since these products can be used on both your eyes and your lips, then this was my way of getting an eye product, essentially. First of all, can we take a moment to appreciate this beautiful packaging? Look at that. Oh. This three-piece set was $27, and it opens like that. There's three pencils in here. Ooh, these are really pretty. These are in the shades Banana Frost, Guava Mint, and Parka Princess. Oh, that's a pretty pink. It's a very soft pink. Okay, those are very, very metallic. So, now that I'm really seeing what shades these are in and kind of what texture they are and just really what the product is, now that I'm really seeing that, I kind of am having an open mouth insert foot moment where I realize I really should have gotten that palette instead. These are gonna be great toppers, it seems like, but I don't know if they're gonna be great all over lid colors. So, what I am going to do is go ahead and do my brows off camera and I'm going to apply just a brown, a simple lonely little brown in my crease just to barely deepen it up so that I can just put one of these on. I want these to be my lid color. I can't just do only a lid color. I gotta have a base. I'm gonna go ahead and do those things off camera and you'll get to just chill and speed through that and I will be right back. All right, basic eyeshadow look is applied. We have just some deepened up crease with some brown and a base down. I feel like I have baked long enough. Like I feel like I might be a little bit overbaked. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this bake off and see what we're left with. That's quite pretty. I see you Fenty. Okay. So now I'm gonna go in with the metallic eye lip crayons. I wanna use two colors. I wanna use as many as I can. So we're gonna use Parka Princess and Guava Mint because I think those are going to be both close enough in color that we can pull off a look with both of them. Ooh, that is not very comfortable to try and drag it across my eye. Now I did set my P. Louise base with eyeshadow. I feel like maybe that wasn't the greatest idea because this crayon is having a hard time applying color. I'm gonna try to actually take this on my pinky and see if I can just tap it on instead. I mean, honestly, that still really didn't work. Ugh, I feel like if my eyelid didn't hurt so bad, I could do this a lot better. It's just hard to drag anything across my eyelid right now. It just hurts. Okay, you know what? This is not working at all. So what I'm gonna try and do, I think it's because of the powder that's on my eyelid. I'm gonna try to gently take off some of this P. Louise base from my lid and then try to apply the pencil directly to my lid instead of on top of this base. And I think that'll work a lot better. My eyelid is literally burning right now I shouldn't be like <laughs> scraping on it and tugging on it right now it's just too raw but for the sake of finishing this video I am going to take this crayon across my lid very gently and try to get this pigment on there guys I can't I can't do it 
I can't put these on my eyes right now. This hurts too bad. I'm so sorry. I just can't drag something like this on. That's what it will look like on the eye though. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I feel really bad. I don't know what to do. It's just a shame because these are so beautiful. Like these shades are so gorgeous. I mean, look at those. I guess the thing to tell you about these pencils is if you're gonna use them on your eyes, you're gonna have to push hard. I don't know, I can't handle it though. I'm gonna be using these again later so that you guys can actually see what it looks like on the eye. I'm realizing now that I can't do the eye look I wanted to do now. So we're gonna move on so that we can go ahead and finish up this video this time. I promise if you're new here, it's not typical that I don't finish the eye look, I promise. But apparently because of finishing the eye look over and over again, I'm now left with sore eyelids that I won't let heal because I keep wanting to create eye looks. The very last thing I got is this Bomb Baby Mini Lip and Face Set. It has a Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in it and a Gloss Bomb Universal Limp... Limp? Universal Lip Luminizer. This set was $23. So this is the kilowatt highlighter. It's in the shade Hustler, baby. <laughs> Cause I'm a hustler, baby. Oops. <laughs> That's the shade. Oh wow, that is very pretty. That's super bronzy. I'm ready to put that on right now. This is so cute too, it's in such a cute package. You could literally be anywhere with this highlighter. Ooh, yes. Oh, do you see that gold? I love gold. Oh. Can you see it? Oh yes, you can. There it is. Oh yeah. So that is the Hustler Baby Kilowatt Highlighter. And this is the Gloss Bomb. It says it's in shade Fenty Glow. I don't know if it's more like lipstick texture or just gloss texture. Ooh, that looks like gloss texture all the way. Wow, for some reason that got rid of all the texture on my lips. Oh my god, that smells so good. This even tastes amazing. I really, really like that gloss a lot. Not only does it look really, really good, but like I said, it smells and tastes amazing. So that's everything. Wow, yeah, that's everything. Ugh, I feel so bad that we're ending like this, but I just can't do anything on my eyelids anymore. I, I thought I was ready for today's video, but apparently I didn't give myself enough time to heal and I should have, and I apologize for that. This is not normal. For those of you that have been around a while, you know, and it will not be a consistent thing. I just need to let my eyelids heal. But the Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer is definitely a win for me because after the second application, it did fill my pores. I don't think it is as good, in my opinion, as my Benefit Porefessional because that fills my pores like nothing ever has. I'll have to give this more of a run for its money and see if it actually can replace my go-tos right now because that's something that's gonna take a little bit of time for me. But for now, I'm gonna give it a yes. The Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, I'm also gonna say yes with because I do really like the texture of my skin. I don't know if it was the foundation or the matchstick that made the texture in my forehead happen. Again, I'm gonna have to play with that just a little bit more to figure out exactly what it was, but I do like the texture everywhere else on my face, so I guess it couldn't have been the foundation. It's not too thick, and it's not too thin, and it's not so dehydrating that it makes my face look cakey, and I really like that. It fills in my pores nice and smooth and gives me a nice even surface to build on, so yes, for sure. The Instant Retouch Pro Filter Concealer 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 The Instant Retouch Pro Filter Concealer? I don't know. I think I'm gonna have to go with another shade because this is super brightening and I get that it was supposed to be with it being 150 to match up with the 150 of the foundation but that's like that seems like a really dramatic difference between the foundation shade and the concealer shade I don't know I do know that you need to set this really fast this might be another thing that I need to just play around with more and get used to it I think I'm so used to shape tape that I'm just used to the way it functions this definitely is not shape tape so I'm gonna have to 
give it another try. For now, I think I'm gonna pass on this. I just don't really know how much I like it yet. If I do change my mind and come back around and enjoy that, I will let you know though. Then the Pro Filter Powder in Butter. I do really like how finely milled this is because I feel like it really got in. Like whenever I started with the concealer and it just dried and showed the cracks, I was really scared of that and thought I was gonna do it again. But whenever I went in the second time with the concealer and immediately set it with this powder, it was this smooth, perfect finish after that. And I really liked that. This one functions a lot like my pure powder does, in my opinion. It just isn't scented the same. I, I do like it. It doesn't look cakey under my eyes and it didn't build up weird or anything. So definitely a yes for this as well. The matchsticks, I think you already know my opinion on. I absolutely love these. I didn't get to try the bamboo shade yet. Here, let me swatch it so you can actually see what it looks like. That's the bamboo shade. It's really just like my skin tone, almost. I like these because they're almost like what you would get out of a cream palette. They feel like that kind of consistency and that thickness, it's like that thicker cream. And I love products like that. And that's why I love these, but also they're in stick form and they stick together. And that's, that's just amazing. That should be a thing for every company. I love that. The metallic eye and lip crayons. I don't know about these for sure. I think on your lips, definitely, because you can apply a lot of pressure to your lips and it not really hurt anything. I love what these look like after they are swatched, like on the skin. I think these are really, really gorgeous, but I don't know if I get that they're eye safe, but I had to push down really hard on my eye. I don't know if I could do that even normally and it look good. Once my eye does heal and I can put like the regular amount of pressure on it like I normally can, I'm gonna try these again on my eye. For now, I'm gonna pass on these. Mainly because my intent with them was for the eye and I couldn't use them for that. Because I don't feel like a cream product that I can put on my eye should have to go on hard enough that it can hurt a wounded eyelid, if that makes sense. You're probably gonna call me an idiot because I shouldn't be putting something on my eye when it's wounded anyway, but you get the idea. It's a lot of pressure to put on my eye, on anybody's eye. But like I said, I'm gonna try these again. For now, pass, but I'll give them another shot. I'll give them another chance and see if it's just me. It could be me in this relationship. That's just not working out. And next, the Fenty Beauty Hustler Bay Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. This is gorgeous. I really like this. This reminds me of King Tut from Jeffree Star. It's that same like golden bronzy shade. But yeah, th this I really, really love. I think I wanna get a full size of this and not just a mini because I feel like I will use this a lot. And then the gloss bomb. I actually thought I was getting the clear glittery thing when I got this. Like I saw a bunch of reviews on it, but apparently I wasn't. And I'm glad that I didn't because I did know what the clear glittery glossy one looked like. And I didn't know that this one existed. I really like this. I'm happy with this. I like the color that it gave. I can't wait to try this on top of other lipsticks so that I can see what this tone kind of goes with different shades. I like this as a gloss a lot. It adds just enough of that wet plumpness and I think it would work on just about anything really. So yes to this as well. Well guys, that completely concludes this review of the full face of Fenty products, except for my eyeshadow. Sorry about that. Other than that, I think that actually went pretty well and I think we had a pretty successful turnout aside from the little, little areas that had problems. But I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this video, even though it wasn't a normal video and we didn't quite manage things the way we normally would, I still appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope you had a good time, even just being here with me. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up and let me know that you do enjoy my content. And if you do, I'll see you next time. And if you don't, maybe I'll still see you next time. If you do want to see me and you don't want to wait for a video, you can actually follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. My username is the same for everything. It's just at ChristopherJMUA. Also, when we get to 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, I'm having a massive giveaway. It's going to have a whole boxy charm in it. It's going to have a whole Jeffree Star mystery box in it. We've got some nail polishes. It's going to be good. So share with your friends, share with your mom, share with your mom friends, share with your dad, share with your dad's cousin's friends. Let everybody know about my channel so that we can get to a thousand subscribers and have an awesome, awesome giveaway. And if you gain nothing else out of coming to my channel, please at least gain this. Always remember and never forget.
that you're beautiful. Bye guys. Oh, hey, if you're still here and you see this little circle in the middle of the screen, that'll let you subscribe to me if you tap on it. If you see these two boxes on either side of that circle, those let you either watch the previous video I uploaded or the video that's suggested to you based on the videos that you watch. Go ahead and click one of those if you want to. You can check out some of my other videos.